top of the morning to you, ladies. My name is the Rental Man Buck. Welcome back to the Nebraska Farm Series, where today we have a very special episode. We have over 13,000 feet of drain tile that we got to install here on our little plot 24 that I've been really talking about all this time. It's got really tight clay soil, and we're right next to the riverbed here, so we have a prime opportunity to get some drainage work done on this field. If you guys have missed it previously, on our little escapade here. We did an entire irrigation system installation as well as a uh, building of a test plot just north of here. So if you guys haven't checked out that episode, you can find that in the top right hand corner of the video right now. But on to today's project, we have a very special, not joining us guest, but we have a very familiar setup if you guys have seen Grant's real life channel that when we were down doing the drain tile episode we'll kind of get to what those two co those two cones mean here in just a second but on our way back to the farm because we already have everything prepped i've already ordered a majority of the tile that we need which is why i was at fifty thousand dollars but we have uh ben van rockle of van rockle farms coming out here to help us do a custom tiling project so his quad track not exactly because we do not have the 535 uh quad track nor do I have his tandem axle soil max blade, but we do have a 540 quad track as well as the a single axle variant of the soil max tile plow currently sitting back at our main shed. So we had that all trucked down here with the TLX last, uh, last Friday, which it is currently Sunday. And there is our irrigation system and the test plot, which we do uh, we're going to really be getting into some of those in the coming weeks here during planting season. I would be using my 9430, but I have to actually have that thing prepped for planting, so I can't be using that right now to do this project. Otherwise, I would. Ben did bring out his 6430 with the tile cart, so we're going to be using that. Currently, right now, it is hooked up to my F450, as I'm going to have to shuttle all of the tile reels from my farm because I'm having them delivered to my place, not the field. It was just easier to have the trucker uh, the trucker show up to my place, and I can just carry them down uh, via the shuttle. So our shuttle actually sitting right there behind the Mauer grain trailer. This is Ben's tile truck. Not uh, It's a little smaller of a version. But we got a 50G mini excavator to help dig all of our outlets. So for right now, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to park this up here and we're going to go in the shed. We're going to get a look at what we got going on for our setup. Now, if this TikTok shot does not um, ring a bell, that is because this is pretty much Ben's exact setup. Uh, minus the fact that this is obviously a lot newer of a quad track. But also, his is a dual axle style of tile blade. I actually had the I had the setup that I could make the dual axles, just the way I had to code this thing, because I built this model from scratch. This is like one of my only, that and the tile cart down there. These are like one of my only two projects that I've actually built from hand. So this is going to be interesting to see how well this episode actually goes. But the, as it states right now, we have an 8-inch boot system on this blade. Uh, the self-feeder, which is not a real self-feeder. This is the pumps and hoses pack. I just have this thing hooked up to where once I drop the pumps and hoses reel with the tile cart, which will be another one of these, but I do actually have the tile reels themselves, this will then pick up the hose on the ground so that it can actually act like we're putting the tile in the ground. I scared myself. I jumped in that truck by accident, so if that clip did not make sense, that's why. But Ben already has all of his monitors set up in there. He has his field view, which you guys can see from that PNG shot right there. That is our map out of how we're going to be doing the drain system on this. Now, Ben's uh, GPS is still broken in the tractor, so we're going to have to do this all by hand. But we do still have the 6430 right there, which if you guys didn't know, I'm just going to take a quick little snippet. of This is going to be a lot of like different real life shots and fake shots. This was my rig that I drove the entire week while I was down there. I've driven this exact tractor, maybe not, maybe looks the exact same, but it's as close as I'm going to be able to get to that little thing. I was having a blast while doing that. Over here attached to the F450, the 6.4, here is our tile cart. Now, I do not have the, uh, this will be the cable reel that we used when we did our irrigation system, uh, but this is our tile cart, and I actually have a lot of the stuff planned out where you can drop the gate because, as Ben stated, don't mess up my, uh, don't mess up the table. There was a few different words said, but then we also have up on top, we can put the top on top of there. And then, of course, the trailer tilts back, as you guys saw my TikTok of backing up the trailers. I was having a ball with this thing, pulling it with Spencer's truck. So 
without further ado, we're going to get to the field, but we also have to wait on the uh, delivery of the tile itself, as I might have to move my Kawasaki, because I'm going to have them drop all the reels we got right there. Currently, we have four rolls of four-inch tile, which is going to equivalent to 12,000 feet. Uh, and then we also have two rolls of 8-inch pipe, which is going to be our main, and that is 1,700 feet worth of line. So, without further ado, we'll just kind of wait until we can get our tile reels in, and uh, we'll see you guys here in just a second. So by the sounds of it, yes indeed, our tile reels have arrived. Now, like I said, we ordered six of these things, and there's only four on this trailer, which... We have two of them being the 8-inch pipe and the other two being 4-inch, so driver's going to head back and get the other uh, rolls of 4-inch, or I might just go pick them up myself with the load trail trailer, save us some delivery, uh, which actually I might just do that since I know those can fit on, the, fit on the trailer, but we'll figure that out once we get to the time of that. So we're going to get those unloaded here by uh, what the driver said we need to do is... We will load our axles up to the front. We're going to put the truck in reverse, and all we have to do is just put it in reverse for a slight bit, and they should just roll off. I think the back one's just going to kind of start. There we go. A little bit of encouragement. There we go. Let's see if we can stop it. There we go. Okay, so now we got our four tile reels here. We'll load the trailer back up. And like I said, I'm going to shuttle these down to the field first, as well as get the tile plow down there. And it's just going to be kind of a, a non-stop process because I know I have enough couplers in my little goodie bag on the front of the tile cart. So uh, connectors and plugs and everything else that we're going to need. So we're going to send this truck back up on its way. And we're going to start getting everything to the field. So we'll see you guys once we kind of get uh, at least the tractors to the field. And maybe we'll be starting to shuttle some of these, some of these pipe reels. So we got one reel of tile left to haul down to the field that's not already been loaded up on the trailer, which is the ones that are still on the Ford. So what we're going to do is we're going to cap off the top of the trailer since the one that we did not grab is our last piece of 8-inch reel. So we're going to keep this one on the truck since the fact it's... Uh, we'll cap it off since we're going to be unloading this one first. That's why the uh, when we get down to the field, those two groups are going to be separated. But I got to the point on this thing when I was in real life to the point where I wouldn't even necessarily need the truck. Uh, whatever it was, I, I just tried to guess how close I could be when I backed up first. I, I, I loved doing this. This was like just trailer backers dream and I killed the truck. Nice. But you really have to be careful with how you load this thing. Like there we go, that's straight on the pipe. I don't think we're going to roll it into the back of the door. So let's lift it up just a hair scoot forward and then that should technically come slamming down to the top once we get it far enough down the pipe there we go so we're going to set this back down since we know that is at the top we'll roll our cage which right here at the front of this what we'll have to do is we cap it off now you can't see it right now but once we have this thing fall back on the ground that top will be completely encasing the top half of this reel Raise it back up. Slams the bottom. Boom, there it is. There's our top. Now we have that lock. Go down here. And let's get our table. As Ben says, don't mess up the table. You have to lower that part of the table, otherwise it like slams the ground and then it like breaks the thing. So or bends the table. It bends the table and then you can't turn the table. So yes. So now that all of our tile is either at the field or still like it's already loaded up, but it just needs to be brought down, aka the F-150, what we'll do now is we're going to unload our mini excavator here, which has already been unstrapped, and we're going to start working our way by digging our starting outlet, which is the big one to our 8-inch main. So this part was mainly done by Spencer... And periodically, Ben, give or take what time it was in the day, because Ben usually did this stuff in the morning since he got to the field earlier. But then Spencer usually did the rest of this for the uh, rest of the work of this throughout the day. So we'll get this thing unloaded. And we'll make our way over to the outlet. So the goal of doing this is we want to make a grade about 10 feet back so when the water coming from the field is rushing down the pipe, that is a very gradual grade. So it's not steep enough of a grade that the water comes rushing out and in essence will break and crack 
the pipe, but it's not shallow enough that the water just basically sits inside the pipe and then you just installed all that tile drain for nothing. So how we're going to do this is we're just going to basically dig a trench back. How we're going to do this is we're just going to basically dig ourselves a trench back a quarter of the way between where these cones are and the field currently. So we're going to see you guys here in just a minute once we kind of get all of that dug out. So I believe this will be our starting grade here. It's about a 10 degree slope that we have gradually going down. Our pile up is not too, too bad. We kind of like evenly dispersed it over the side of the bank, but our outlet's gonna be coming right here. We're gonna have an animal guard go inside the eight inch pipe. And once we start laying that, we're gonna start by laying the pipe, like basically right all the way out to the water. And then I will gradually work my way uh, make a very hard left turn, maybe not gr just a kind of a gradual left turn, but then we're going to go all the way down the stretch of this entire bank line. That should be good enough now to where we can start uh, laying our first round of 8-inch tiles. So let's get right to it. Basically set back our line. We'll look at our field view monitor there. Make sure that we have everything in line. And we'll pretty much drive as straight of a line as we can. And this will be our survey to run, know what we're doing with the things. So we'll scratch our line with the blade. We lower it down just enough to get a scratch on the ground. That's going to suck because we're not actually looking at a field texture. We're just doing this. We have the shoe just far enough in the ground that we're going to be able to know what we're doing. So now comes the most important part of my job when I did this. Once you get over to the tile spool, what you had to do is a certain process. You had to drop the back half of the table here. Make sure the ground didn't get whatever. And then you lowered the half, and they actually had a controller, which I lost on day two, I believe, out of five. I ended up losing that thing. And once you got the tile cart lowered down, you'd take that back carriage wheel off. Like this. Except it was obviously wiggling and wobbling it until you actually got it off. And then you proceeded to load on the tile spool. This is our last spool of 8-inch line, which we're not going to need all of it. This might actually be easier to do from the inside because I have the little gap uh, put into the the uh, thing. That's one thing I noticed about this, so. Yes, sir. Just like it, just like clockwork. Which now I actually have to put the carriage top on, so slide that on there quick. That's on. Come back in. And raise up the tile, which just slams the ground. And we already have the outlets put to the correct side, so there's that. And split our table back up. Now, which I already pre-put on the line that we're going to need, this should string the rest of our run that we need to do. So we're going to need to run over there. What I would actually use is a coupler and uh, basically like pipe tape, but it looks basically just like a giant roll of uh, Gorilla Tape. Or we'll... We'll tie those two lines together so that way they're ready to go. And uh, we're just going to attach this and get our way over to uh, the run. So let's go find the end of our run on the pipe. But in essence, we'll leave that there. We'll pop up in the quad track. Well, the Tiger. We should be able to attach this. Yes. Okay, so now we have that attached. And once we go into the winding area, I'll pull this blade all the way down that stretch and we'll have ourselves our first round of tiles. So I'm gonna spool it up here. We're gonna get to laying some tile. We are now laying our pipe and it is reeling up as we go. So this line should be pretty straightforward. Said it is being hand fed in. So as we go, it just pulls the pipe in and we go all the way down the stretch. So we are now installing our 8-inch pipe main. So yeah, this is really cool. This is actually working. Nice. So our line seems to be relatively straight. The only thing that sucks about this is that you can't like actually do the wrapping speed at the speed of the tractor. It just winds it. So I will end up having to like just kind of connect the pipe back together. But you know what? It's, it's the fact that it, this is somewhat working already counts all right it's the fact that counts now we just kind of got to find it yeah so we already have our first 400 layers of pipe 
We just gotta find our second round. Wherever the heck that went. Now, I know that's not the straightest line on planet Earth, and I do apologize for that, but it is super hard to actually keep the wheel straight in this, so uh, that is the end of our first run, so we'll lift up the plow out of the ground, and we'll make our way back to start the laterals. So there's the first official pass of drainage tile in Farm Sim 22. So I feel really, really, really bad for two reasons. I realized, one, the, uh, the amount of outlets that I thought I actually was going to need were significantly more. I needed 22 outlets to go 50 foot spacings up this entire thing. So I'm going to make do with what I have. And we're going to run this survey uh, pretty much back to where that's going to be our markings. The second thing, as you guys notice, the cable reels are gone. Well, there's a reason for that. Uh, I ended up figuring out that that tractor cannot handle the weight of the trailer uh, when it actually has that spool on the back. Like, that spool itself would be fine because it's sitting over the top, but it just has too much weight hanging off the back, and it just didn't want to work. So... We've already strung out the line for this reel. Uh, we're gonna get it on to the next one, but we can't, gotta make sure we don't drive into that trench. But that is our line that we need to follow. So our, our current line is currently to the left of us. Uh, we're just gonna kinda act out the fact that we have the pipe on there. With the fact that I made it as far as I did without this not, not working is fantastic. But the one problem is I gotta see this. So we'll drop our plow, which for some reason it like, I don't know what's going on with this thing. It like throws it all over the place uh, when you lower it down. It wasn't doing it earlier, but now it is. But now we got our blade in the ground. We got it pulling in. We're making sure our feed is going in the end of the pipe. And we're good. Let's lay down a line. Just picture what we were doing on that very first 8 inch main. And we're doing it on this. Just picture that. And there is the end of our first run. Yeah, going up, it does just fine. We don't have any problems with it going up. It's coming back down that's the problem. So I think the end of our next survey run here is going to be right here. So let's get in position. And we will survey our way back, which in essence, we're just going to follow our tire tracks. So we got our field monitor here. We're just going to drive a straight line all the way back. So we'll string out another line. We'll line ourselves back up here. Now that we're back to what my job was, I can tell you guys a little bit about what we got. So that pipe now is in the ground, and we're just gonna string out this side quick. So we'll string out this line and the next line. So by the looks of it, we got about half the, uh, at least a little over half the spool left. So we'll pull our line back here. Yink, yink, yink. This is the part where Grant got like yanked. Whoa! Hey! Fuck! Like completely out of the Bolivian. It's hilarious. So we'll pull this back uh, roughly right in, right there-ish because that's enough for us to feed it into the back of the uh, the boot. We'll have Corey sit on the pipe back there. Put it in gear. And let's string. And we just got to stay about four to five rows to the right of this. Right to the left of this. Do not get any closer to those tire tracks than that. So we'll just string this out, and then once we're done with that, I'm going to jump out, cut the pipe, put a cap in it, and then we'll go right back to stringing out the next line. So I think my stop line would be right here. That's enough for when he pulls for the extra slack. Cut off our pipe. Grab a cap. Jam the cap in the end of the drain pipe. And we're off to the races. And that is how you cut tile and do that part, yeah. And that's pretty much going to be about the end of this spool, so uh, what we'll do is we're going to run back, get the rest of this stretched out, and then we'll replace our spool, and we'll get lay in more tile. City lines and the crazy nights. Figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out. See what it's all about. But
But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's break. Okay, so after 14 polls, now currently going to be surveying number 15, which already has had its pipe strung out. Uh, I currently have 6430 sitting off to the side. The passes have been getting shorter for a reason. I'll show you guys that once we get to the end of this survey. I got to try and literally stay as straight of a line as possible because my guidance is my tire tracks. Well, my track tracks and where I drove. That's how I know where the heck I'm going. And I think I might have been a little curved on that one, so not going to be a complete make or break, but it shouldn't uh, it shouldn't be too bad. So 6430 is currently waiting to string. Yeah, see, it kind of bends. So when I look at that, I'm going to have to basically, where my tracks hit the front of the field is where I'm going to have to shoot for, so it's like I'm going to be a little bit oblong. So it's not terrible, but it's not great. So we'll turn our plow blade around here and then we'll look at our field map. I'll let the plow go down here. Like I said, I had to hold that. So plows down, we're gonna take a quick look at this. So here, like I said, we had our 14 current laterals and these three have been progressively getting smaller. That is gonna be on purpose. Since we were on 15 out of 22, the last five are technically going to kind of be all over the place over here since this is at the bottom, like this is kind of like a cup almost on the bottom of the hillside. So I'm gonna have uh, probably one or two more of these short ones. And once we get to number 18, it's gonna have one that kind of comes right up along here, one that kind of comes up along here. Like you guys saw obviously in the original drawing, uh, we're gonna follow that somewhat of a guidance but then it's going to be like one that comes around here one that comes around here uh we're going to follow our way around until we get our nice even distributes of the pipes so that way it picks up as much water in that uh, big area as possible and then we already sent the mini x all the way down to the start hole where we originally were and he is going to be digging out a start hole because we're going to do one pass that goes all the way around that big long stretch on the top side of the field so we're just going to keep on keeping on here, get a little bit extra tile work in, and then you guys will kind of see what we're going to be doing with all these big time, uh, the big time, really, really long passes. We got about two stretches left, uh, if not one with that current reel, and then we're going to run back and get the F-150 with the other uh, remaining tile spools, and then uh, we're going to be making our way around. Got a feeling like a small fish in a big I think I go back where I came from Where everybody knows my name My friends are still the same I guess the slow life hit me just right Like a bonfire on a cold night Hell, and you can keep your nine to five Happy with the simple life Try to change your mind, trying to save your time. In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list, girl, you can skip this funny business. Cause up there it's complicated and overrated. Down here everything is understated. That's alright by me. I got everything that. So looks we have one more regular short start hole and then after that that one is going to start our uh, little s curve pattern so we'll get the rest of that there we go our survey is done 
turn this bad boy around. What I'm very, very happy about is that we have not had one iota problem of slippage yet. I have not had to call down my 8100 or my 9430 because this tractor is slipping around. So I'll give Case the benefit of the doubt. It's got some really good tracks on it. But let's just get in line for our... I believe this is the 17th line, our 17th line, if not our 18th. We had 22, so 22, 21, 20, 19. This is a poll number 18. Okay, nice. There we go, back it right up to the start hole. Very short pull here, so we'll get the plow down. Okay, and now this has already been connected. We had to pull this pack, but we got to string this out. This is the one thing that really sucked, because by the time that Ben actually would get going, I'd just be, like, getting out of the tractor. So on a run like this, I mean, it was, I was literally running. So we'll unspool that, we'll keep going. And what I really need to save up those last two spools for is this crazy stuff that we're about to get into, but also that really long pull around the outside. I'm not gonna be surprised if I run out after that. So that's all we need. Let's cut. Now you can imagine this at about 10 o'clock at night, grab our cap, tap it off, except that takes like, you know, four times the time. We're gonna get this out of the way because this is gonna be the start of our really, really weird runs, so. Uh, I'll kind of just get set way over here because I know when Ben does his survey on this one, it usually takes a while because he has to go the entirety of that loop. Let's get this pinned up against this hole right now. And we'll let the tile do its work. So the first of our long runs is going to start about right here and it's going to wrap down and around this long side. So it's going to kind of curve. So I have to make sure I follow because I have to follow these tire tracks with the... 64 as well as the case once we get the survey in so this is going to kind of like get a little close to this that's going to be fun to dissect which tracks i'm supposed to follow there we go we go straight down the pike so we got the pipe being held now i believe if i'm correct ben was saying that when you put a pipe along the outside of a turn you are going to have less at the end. Yeah, when you go around the outside of the turn, you're going to have less pipe at the end of it. So you kind of have to string out a little bit more than you need. But on a shorter turn, you're going to have more pipe at the end than you think you need. So you kind of have to cut it off earlier because then the amount of slack that goes around the corner, it will compensate accordingly. So for this one, we're going to stop. I think it says like stop two tractors before you get to the end of the run. And then that's enough slack for him. Okay, there we go. We'll cut this off here. Really need to start grabbing the cap first while I'm doing this. Put in our cap. And let's let him do his run. Now I may not be collecting sounds for American farming. But I will say that this actually has been a lot. It's done a lot better than I thought it would have. So this is really, really cool that I'm actually able to, like, slightly reenact something that people do in real life. So, in fact, it's something that I've actually now done in real life. Like I said, a big thing of these comes down to just having the experience of saying that you've done it. I've done enough things now in my life where I can just... I, I mean, I've literally done so much. I'm only 20, so there's so much more to do. So I ended up going inside just a little bit on this one, uh, just so I can make sure all this is completely cleared off. But as I, yep, we aced that length perfectly. So now we'll run back here, and I believe our second run's gonna be right in here. We'll start surveying this next run. Wrap around the inside. That should be all the tail tails. And there is the end of that. Pull the blade up. Now this one's going to be kind of funky because of the fact that we only have two left. So it'll kind of make almost an S. It was either this one was an S or the other one was an S. So I kind of just... 
bit the bullet and I'm gonna make this one the S. So this is gonna be a very, very, very weird looking survey. Because the other one's just gonna be kind of a short, straight shooter that comes right up the top. So don't need to lower the plow, but we're gonna definitely be doing something kind of like this. There we go. So now we'll just shoot straight on to here. We'll turn the this around. And we got two spools left, so we're probably going to run out of spool on the end of this one, which will be fine. If anything, we're going to run out about halfway through. So we'll just run back, grab another spool, get things going. That should have completely gotten that survey ready to go. This one doesn't seem like it needs to go that deep into the ground. At least right here it doesn't. Up towards the back, we're going to need to get the blade deeper. But for right now, we're just going to see where this takes us. So I'm going to kind of stay a little bit further on the outside for the turn, so that way we kind of have enough slack that once the, uh, the the wheel pulls in the pipe, it technically can compensate for it. And then once I get to here, I'm going to um, mess with my little controller here, slow down the spool, so that way I can keep the uh, tension on the, on the pipe. But then once we get to right about here, our line should be perfect. Nice. Stop the spool. Ah, stop the spool. And actually, we ran out uh, just in time. Nice. So there is that. Don't even have to cut anything. Just cap it off. Right there. And let's go and grab our next spool while we also pull that line. Which, uh, we'll just go and grab our spool first here before we do that. Because of the fact we have to do the last line. And then that spool plus the other spool is going to have to make us all the way over to here. That's going to be a long pull. And there is our really weird looking S-curve. So we've already had the line strung out for our last run here. It was kind of a, a mixture, so I kind of whip around the line, which is sitting right there. Survey is going to start here, which will kind of just go into this little uh, short spot. We already have the 6430 just kind of prepped over there for our long haul. Uh, he's just going to kind of come around. We'll, lay, I'll, uh, we'll line our last pass up right here. Get our line, feed it through to the boot. And we're almost done. We are almost done. This is a lot of passes. This actually took a lot longer than I thought it would, which it's, it's logical. This is how long this thing takes. So I gotta give a very big thanks to Ben for bringing his quad. Yeah, I cannot tell you how many, oh, quad. Okay, the one time I actually get it right, I mess it up. I gotta give a big thanks to Ben for bringing his quad track out here for this project. Couldn't have really done it without him. Well, I technically could have with my 94, but it's always fun to have farmers help farmers. But to the real life Ben, I really gotta thank him for uh, allowing me to kind of do this. Uh, as I just messaged him a couple earlier, I'm like, hey, I got the project that I'm working on. It's all pretty much done. Would you care if I actually used you as the example for the video? And he was he was all really cool with that. He's like, yeah, send it to me once it's done. And, We'll see what we can see what we can look at like and see how well we can actually interpret this in farm sim. So there is our last of that pull. So we have all of our pulls done going down that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one long pull that's gonna be kind of like an S. So I'm gonna start about right here, and it's gonna work away all the way back to there. It is a long pull. Trust me, we did one of these. It sucked not horribly but it, it just it was just a long it was after a long night it was like one of the last ones we had to do so we'll survey this run quick which is not going to be a very uh, this probably won't be a very steep one in terms of grade I wouldn't be surprised how uh, far up the blade comes throughout this pull but this is going to be a really long long pull this should be our last one, so we'll catch you guys once we start stringing pipe. And that is all she wrote right there. So it's going to be right at like the point of when these two mix. So go run ourselves. Uh, let's go and grab ourselves that final spool. So we'll take all this stuff off. Let's go get that final spool. Just like clockwork. Well, almost. There we go. Put that down on the table. 
put our table itself up and put the top on. Let's finish stringing this tile. Cut off the rest of our spool here, which we have about a little under half, I'd say, left with that. So we'll just kind of keep that in case we have any other uh, quick things that we need to do. So we might just like tie it up once we get it back to the farm. But that's basically all we have for that. So we're going to run back quick at that last run in with the quad track. And then we are officially done tiling this whole field. We'll show you guys the layout here once we're all done. And it should be a good day's work. So let's lower the blade into the ground one last time. And it's like weird, because if I get out of the tractor, it actually works. So we got the blade in the ground. Let's pull this one last reel of tile. So this is going to be the number one, which is why we're kind of like, connect we're double connecting it into the main connector that goes all the way down to the Niobrara. But in essence, how this is going to work is that one's going to have the most amount of water. So we're putting it at the end of the pipe. So if anything were to be, in essence, there's too much going on or there's too much pressure on it, it's at the very end where it might actually break or crack or something rather than connecting into uh, one of these lines and then it has almost double the pressure. So we just got one really long pass to go. And this is, ooh, this is getting into some thick stuff because of the fact we got the tree roots that are over there. So... We'll throttle up here, and we'll just kind of give her the beans and hope for the best. We'll see you guys at the end of this mile-long run. All right, guys. If you haven't already, be sure to consider smashing that like button and subscribing down below. As you do know, we are on the race to the 100,000 subscriber mark by the end of the year. I actually recorded this by the uh, time I got the end of this project done. I kind of forgot about this little segment, but and I'm super, super excited. It's just, we'll see you guys in the rest of the video, man. Have fun. Everything seems to be pulling very, 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 very smoothly. We're almost done. We're on the last little pass here. And I can't tell you guys, it has been a very, very long day, as you guys saw in those little rolling credits. I I can't thank the amount of people that were a part of this enough. This is a very big episode in terms of just life experiences, things that I've been able to do in the real world. And I'm so glad that I'm actually able to just kind of reenact it. That's a big portion of why this video was actually made. So that is all she wrote physically, metaphorically, and just overall. I mean, let's take a look at the way this map turned out. So there is our tile pattern. We had 24 total, well, 23, I believe, total poles of which the first one here, we kind of got a little bit close at the edge, but uh, we ran a little bit long. That's all right. Uh, but we have all of our main lines going down the stretch of the field, which this is all uh, pretty much just straight flat. So this is a very deep cut uh, to get to this uh, main drain right here. And then obviously, as we got closer to this bottom side of the hill in the valley, we ended up uh, shooting a couple slots uh, towards the bottom half of the mountain. So once the water came and drained in, it just goes straight down the thing. And then we just, of course, I don't necessarily know how to physically describe this uh, without sounding like a ding dong. So in essence, water drains this way, and then it goes that way and exits there right below the bridge. So if there's ever any uh, water over the bridge, don't blame me, okay? It's not coming from this field, I swear. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe down below. If you haven't already, be sure to also check out Ben Rockle Farms, as that is Ben's farm. He does a lot of great content on there. Also, be sure to check out Grant's IRL channel. So if you guys want to find both of the tiling videos that we ended up doing uh, where we did Grant's tiling, go check those out there and there. Uh, but if you guys also haven't already, be sure to check out the Boomstick Club for all the up-to-date content from me and the gang. You guys already know who is in it, and I shall see you all in the next one. This is the Rental Man out. <laughs>